Hello, my name is Frederik Lathorn and I would like to talk a bit about Nginio. Nginio is a cloud service that makes managing the backend easy. With Qt and Nginio you have a powerful combination to easily develop an application that talks to the cloud and gets data out of the cloud. I would like to show you a quick demo of a to-do list application. So the first step to using Nginio is of course to sign up on the website. Online in Nginio you can have several different backends and we will just now create our own example here and call it to-do list example. And this is just a storage for JSON objects, which I want to connect uh, to from a Qt application. I already downloaded Ingenio. I just run through the installer visit. I will install Ingenio to my Qt version. In this case, on Linux, I just select QMake and click through the visit. I accept the license and I'm good to go. So now Nginio has installed to my usual Qt. So let me fire up Qt Creator and I prepared a little application. I will quickly walk through that. The goal is that I can add a to-do and I can look at all my to-dos in a list. And the nice thing is that this will work not just from my machine, but from any computer, and they will always be synced. I, as usual, import Qt Quick and Qt Quick controls, and then all it contains is a rectangle that will be the main application window. I have a text field so that I can type some text, and currently it does nothing. I can press enter and it will simply clear the text, and then I have also this list item here, which is basically a text in a rectangle and a list view that makes use of that component as a delegate so that we can um, display a list of items. But currently there's no model set, so I have no way to benefit from any of this. So let me just show that to you. I run the application here. I have the text input. I can type something, hello and it will disappear. So now I would like, of course, to show how easy it is with Nginio to connect this and in the end uh, have a synced to-do list that can be shared through the cloud. So what I first need is uh, to create an instance of the main Nginio connection. It's simply called Nginio. Oh, and of course I need to import import Nginio 1.0 to tell Qt Quick that I want to access Nginio. I just give it an ID so I can refer to it later. I'll call it client. And this class needs to be initialized. After installing I already get the help and I can check. There's two important properties in this Nginio class and that is the backend ID and the backend secret. So those two we need to set and of course uh, you can read up on it in the help. Um, so backend ID I'll put in here uh, and of course this needs to come from somewhere. So this is where we just created uh, the backend here and you can see I have a backend ID. I'll copy that. Those two tokens uh, simply um, identify my backend and in a real production environment um, you would then use authentication in addition to this in order to actually secure your installation, your application. So now I have my Nginio connection set up, but I would also like to use uh, this to get data in and out. So I'll, in this case, use an Nginio model and then I need to connect it to my client that I just created. I just need to give it one thing and that is a query 
and there you can check the rest the documentation how to set this up I need to pass it a JSON object that in this case very simple contains an object type because I wanted to list all objects of a certain type and in our case we call them objects dot to do. This is pretty simple and of course so far uh, doesn't do much because we have no way of actually adding something. Here in the text edit we already have it that we clear the input whenever enter is pressed but of course we need to in this case also now s upload it to the model so engine new model and we have a function append and this takes a JSON object again so here I'll have a JSON object let's say it gets one property that's title and the nice thing is that the model automatically, because of the query, knows where to append it and what to do with it. So uh, we can just set the text, and that is the text itself. Well, we can simplify that. Now I have the text set up to actually do something. So let's run it again, and I will say hello. QTs and I press enter it disappears and that does not seem so exciting yet but let me show you my backend here I have one object I can look at it it got uploaded and it says hello QTs instantly in the cloud so this is pretty awesome now of course I would like to also have this list view do something so let's simply give it a model. The model will simply be my engineer model. And then I just need to do one more thing, that is give the text uh, here, title. Because title is the JSON role I used here while uploading it, maybe this will work. So if I add another to-do, that'll be good. And, oh yeah, spacing five, anchor start margins, five. Let's do it this way. Yes. Okay. So this is all. And you see, we built our first application in just a few minutes. And that's it for this short little introduction to using Ingenio, especially in Qt Quick. Of course, the same is available with C++, but that is too much for this video. Thank you and goodbye.